Thanks for joining us. I'm using this free sprite sheet over from Pixel Frog with Flutter and Flame. And we're adding this type of chicken to our mobile app screen. In this tutorial, we're only using one of the frames from the 14 cell animation sprite sheet from Frog or Pixel Frog. And we'll be able to move this uh, sprite around the screen, desktop or mobile. And then in future videos, we'll cover things like the actual using all 14 frames and having to walk around, as well as adding uh, different types of controls like a virtual joystick so you can move the chicken, which I'm calling Charlie, around the screen. I'm going to push our chicken in 100 pixels to the right and a 100 pixels down. So there's a, on the sprite component, there's a position. We'll set it equal to vector two all 100. And we'll reload our chicken. The chicken's now 100 pixels from the left edge of the screen and 100 pixels down. So it's, it's calculated from the upper left hand corner of this chicken sprite here. Okay. This stage we're just practicing using the sprite component before we convert it to a sprite animation component. And we're using this first frame here. Arrows in the way. Okay, but if you look at the, the second frame, the feet would be different. So to show you how to alter the, uh, the frames, I'm gonna make another change to it to get the second frame. So there's a source position. So if the frame, each frame is 32 pixels wide, uh, the chicken will, if you move it over 32 pixels, it will now be on the second frame here. So we defined the, uh, the chicken sprite right here, but if we declare it outside of the onload, let's put it right here. So we go like late sprite component, chicken sprite. Then we instantiate it here in the onload. This oh, flame has another nice, uh, method here called update. And we cannot access the chicken because it's outside of this method here on load. So the chicken sprite. And just to show you that we could, maybe I'll move it down. So the top of the screen is zero, zero right here. If you want to push it down, we could maybe start off by adding one to the chicken. And the chicken will move down by one pixel. If we want to move it to the, to the right, we can add one. So it's moving in this direction here. This is just a demonstration. So we'll comment out our, our chicken right now. So we can see it, our chicken movement. Okay, we're gonna move over to our sprite animation component. The sprite component and the sprite animation component are, are very similar. Most of the methods are exactly the same. So the next video will make Charlie use the full sprite sheet of a 14 cell animation and turn him into a sprite component. Then in the future, we'll add this type of virtual joystick so that you can control them and have Charlie walk around your screen.